Hey guys, this is Dan from Ledger Support. How are you doing today? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Ledger uh, Cardano account to the NAMI wallet and then use that to trade tokens on uh, MinSwap. Um, so all of that is due to the fact that we just updated the Cardano app, which is available in the Maja. And this new app will let you sign smart contract transactions, which is great because now it means that you can swap tokens, but you can also uh, trade NFTs and do all this cool stuff that you couldn't do before with the previous version of the app. So yeah, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to basically explore Cardano, DeFi and NFTs. So this is going to be exciting. Before I go into that, um, let's just uh, go through my setup here. So I've got my Ledger Nano S Plus with me, but just so you know, all those steps can be done on any Ledger device. So you can have a Ledger Nano X or a Ledger Nano S or a Ledger Nano S Plus it's the same steps okay the second thing that i need to make sure of is that i have the latest version of ledger live so you might be wondering like how do i know which version of ledger live i should use and i'm going to show you so first open ledger live then go into settings and you have this tab called about here so you click that and the version section will tell you which version of ledger live you're on okay so in my case i'm on uh version 2.41.3 which is at the moment of recording the latest version of ledger live ideally that's the version you want to be on or a version above uh, obviously before you follow those steps okay so in my case it's all good if your version is older then i would definitely recommend to go on the website and then you can use um, this button here to download um, the the desktop app on your computer Okay, so that's very important because if you don't have the latest version of the app, you might not get the latest version of the firmware for your device. And if you don't have the latest version of the firmware, then you might not get the latest version of the Cardano app on the device. Okay, so not keeping things up, up to date has cascading effects. So this is something very important to, to know in general, not just with Cardano. Okay, so again, when you update, always start with Ledger Live, firmware, and then app version. Okay, always in that sequence. Cool. So in my case, it's all good. I've got um, I've got the latest version of Ledger Live. So I'm just going to go into the Magia here. And actually, I'm not going to go into the Magia just yet. First, I'm going to unlock my Ledger device with my pen. And the reason why I'm doing it this way is because I've noticed that Ledger, you, Ledger Live likes it better um, when your device is um, already unlocked before you go into the Magia just one of the little quirks of, of Ledger Live. So I'm going to the manager. It's going to ask me to allow the Ledger manager. This is what I just did. Now it's unlocked and I'm in the manager. So I can see that my firmware is up to date, so it's all good. And I'm going to go type Cardano into the app catalog here. Let me to click install. So it's all good, it's installing. So here I wanna make sure that I'm on version 4.0.0 of the app. Okay, that's the version I need because that's the version that supports um, smart contracts. Of course, if you're watching this video from, from the future and there is a new version, like an even more recent version of the app, then that's all good. Okay, the minimal version that you need is 4.0.0, okay? Um, cool, so I can see it's installed here. Now I can, completely close Ledger Live. I don't need Ledger Live anymore. And the reason why is because, well, as you know, Ledger Live doesn't support uh, Cardano accounts just yet. We're still working on it. This should be coming in 2022. Uh, no promises though, but we are bringing Cardano into Ledger Live for sure. Okay, but right now, if I wanna discover my Cardano account, um, I need to use a third party wallet. So I can close Ledger Live and I'm going to use NAMI. So NAMI is a bit like MetaMask, but for Cardano. So I'm going to download it here. And so I'm on Chrome. I suggest that you use Chrome. It works pretty well. I don't think uh, NAMI is supported on Firefox, actually. Um, okay, I'm going to add this to Chrome, add extension here. It's all good. Close that, now I can close this page. Now, what I'm gonna do, so I've got MetaMask installed here. So first I'm gonna pin NAMI, so it's easier for me to access. And I'm going to deactivate MetaMask during the time I'm using NAMI. And the reason why I wanna do this is I don't want any um, conflict between the two apps, okay? So sometimes, just like Ledger Live can conflict with NAMI and MetaMask, 
MetaMask can also conflict with NAMI. So I don't want those conflicts to potentially happen. So I'm going to, you know, um, I'm going to click the, the puzzle piece here, go to Manage Extension, and here I can temporarily deactivate MetaMask. So I want NAMI activated, MetaMask unactivated. Okay, this is something I recommend in general, right? When you're using third-party wallet, close uh, Ledger Live and deactivate temporarily every other extension, okay? It'll prevent a lot of connection issues. Okay, so NAMI is installed. I'm going to create my first account. So just like in MetaMask, NAMI will force you to create a throwaway a standalone account before you are able to add your Ledger account, okay? So here it's prompting me with, it's showing me a seed phrase, which I don't really need because it's not gonna secure any funds, okay? All my Cardano funds are secured by my Ledger and my 24 word Ledger recovery phrase, the one I got when I set up the device. So this seed phrase I don't really need. Um, so I'm gonna skip the verification. And same, I'm not gonna use uh, a very strong password um, because, oh, um, the reason why is because I'm not gonna, again, I'm not gonna use this throwaway account to secure any funds. What I want is to add my Ledger Cardano account to NAMI, okay? So I'm going to open NAMI here and I'm going to click the little robot face here and click connect hardware wallet. I'm going to select Ledger, fetch my device from the list here. I've got tons of things connected. Ah, yeah, so that's a good point. I need the Cardano app open, right? So up, now it's open on my device. So very common mistake. You should say waiting for commands, thus where you know that the app is uh, open. I'm going to try again, get the device. It should work now. Cool, so it's working. Uh, I'm going to click this account, boom. And now I can go back into NAMI and I should be able to see my Ledger account. Here we go, that's my Ledger account. And you can see I've got a little bit of ADA on it, which, which is good. And I also have NFT. So that's the cool thing about NAMI. It will let you, it will show you your Cardano NFTs. Um, if you have Cardano uh, NFTs in your Cardano account, uh, of course. So all you need to do is click this little collectible um, icon here and then you can click on your nft and uh, here you go it's beautiful <laughs> um, you can also set it up as avatar which is a nice little feature not very useful but it's, it's, it's just a nice touch i think so um yeah so you can see uh, your nft is here okay but what i want is i want uh, my ledger account in nami so that's good now I'm going to use MinSwap to swap tokens, okay? So we have an article in the Help Center uh, that describes all the steps to use MinSwap. Uh, and this article has a link to MinSwap, which is a safe link that you can use. So I'm going to use that. By the way, we also have an article on how to connect your Ledger device to NAMI, okay? If you wanna check that out. Um, so I'm in MinSwap, I'm going to enter the app. Here's the app and it should connect automatically to my Ledger device here. Let's see. Okay, uh, very good. So it's gonna prompt me for, yeah, okay. So there's a lot of pop-ups here. Um, so let's, let's just verify this is my Ledger account, right? So it ends in 99HC, okay. Now let's go into NAMI. And let's see if it's indeed my ledger account. So I'm going to click receive, check the ending. Yeah, okay. We can see it's it's my ledger account, so it's all good. Um, and I can see my ADA balance here. Okay, so now I want to trade tokens. Okay, I want to swap ADA for something else. I'm going to go into trade, and I'm going to select. Let's see, what do we have here? Uh, okay, I'm just going to go for mid swap tokens. Why not? I'm going to select, um, I don't know, let's say 2ADA, okay? Trade 2ADA for the equivalent in min token. So let's see what the app is. Okay, no trading around. Okay, no worries. Let's, let's try a different token, maybe. Maybe meld. 
Let's see what it says. All right, okay, cool. Oh no, sorry, so I should, that's what I want. I want to spend from ADA into meld and I'm going to, okay. So I'm going to swap four ADA for 38 meld. Let's, let's try that. Okay, so now I'm gonna need my ledger device in a second. So here I'm going to review the trade. All right, that's the token I'm gonna get. Slippage, okay, that's not too bad. Price impact, very minimum. It's a very small amount, so that's fine. Liquidity fee provider, so that's for the market maker. Batch of fee, that's something that's specific to um, uh, MinSwap. I think that's because Cardano has this UTXO system, so I think um, they need to attach ADA to your UTXO. Um, the same thing for the deposit here. This amount of ADA will be held as minimum UTXO ADA will be returned. Okay, so this this amount will be returned to me. Okay, um, yeah. Just so you know, Cardano is a bit like Bitcoin. It works with the UTXO system, right? Um, so it's not an account system like like uh, like Ethereum, for example. Anyway, let's let's confirm the swap. And now something is going to happen on my device. So I'm getting a prompt to sign. So this is the total amount of ADA I need to mobilize to make the trade happen, but some of it is going to be refunded by uh, by MinSwap. Two of this ADA will be sent back to me. So I'm going to sign, uh, collect ledger. Okay, I'm going to confirm. And here, now I've got things to do on my ledger device. So there's going to be quite a lot of uh, screens to validate on, on the device. So first, start new ordinary transaction. Okay, I'm going to validate this. So I want to be on the screen. Press both buttons. It's all good. Auxiliary hash. So here, those screens, when it's one out of two, you want to go all the way to the, the last section. So two out of two, and then you want to validate that. Okay, by pressing both buttons. Send to address. That's probably um, the NAMI uh, address. Send eight ADA. Again, like two of them will probably be sent back to me. I'm happy with that. Data hash. Okay. All right. Transaction fee. That's the, yeah, for the, yeah, the, for the network. So I'm going to validate this. Here's another screen. So I go to the second section and then I validate confirm transaction. I think that should be the last, I hope so at least. That should be the last um, screen to validate confirm transaction. Yes. Okay. I think this is working. Cool. All right. Transaction submitted view on Explorer. I don't think anything will show on the Explorer yet because yeah, it hasn't been processed by the network yet, but when it does, basically something will happen in the order section here in this tab. So just keep an eye on this. Once you finish your trade, basically you'll see a line that summarizes your trade and it will show as complete. Okay. So it might be, uh, so in my case, that would be ADA to melt. So that will be this, a trade like that, that will show. Uh, this is just an earlier trade, but this is what it's gonna look like. Okay, so I can keep monitoring uh, the order tab here to make sure my, my trade is executed. Um, or I can just, you know, monitor my, uh, yeah, here, here you go, it just popped. Uh, so let's, let's just refresh. I can also go into, so, don't want to get too messy here. Okay, this is the trade that I just did. So it's queuing. Okay, it's not processed yet. Um, so I can keep an eye on my account like this. What I can do as well, I can just copy my address and then pasting it into Cardano scan. And then I can monitor the activity here. Okay, and eventually I'll be able to um, see my token balance here. Okay, for now there is nothing. Um, but yeah, basically that's it guys. Um, so I hope that was useful. Again, we have um, uh, we have articles on the help center that explains how to do what I just uh, did. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us um, on the help center. We've got this little help button here, okay, to send us tickets, or you can uh, just directly reach out to us on uh, Twitter. We are at ledger underscore support. Um, I hope that was useful. I'll try to bring you more Cardano content because I know you guys are excited about Cardano. Um, but in the meantime, thank you very much and enjoy your day. Bye.